what was this? Listen, I'm pro writer, right? I'm pro writer. I was for the writers on the writer strike. I don't believe in writers. I believe being creative, but whoever wrote this should probably not have a job. This was terrible. And I heard the issues. I read on the issues. I wanted to make sure I understood why this movie was bad as it was. I wanted to get an understanding on why this movie was bad. Non spoiler review, right? This is a non spoiler review. We're going to get into the spoilers later on where I tell you how ridiculous things sound. First off, let's go over the problem with this that, that this film had. You, yes, you did amazing, by the way. I think the actor did amazing. Let's go over the problems in the movie. First off, it sounded like voiceovers. It sounded like voiceovers over the main The villain, it was annoying to hear the villain talk because it sounded like the villain was speaking, but he wasn't. It's like it's like you was doing, like they got on Audacity and just started talking and then it didn't match the voice that was going to it. Like when you first started filming YouTube videos and the voice don't match and you try to get the compression and everything right. Yeah, that was what was going on with this film. That's one of the issues this film had. And at some point, Dakota even it started doing her voice. But it wasn't nowhere near as bad as the villain. It sounded like they was doing overlays or talking like doing documentaries or having Morgan Freeman speak to them. And they didn't, and they were just having him voice over the whole thing. That was one thing that terrible. Second thing, the music didn't fit the mood of the film. I felt like the it was supposed to be more futuristic horror vibes. When she saw horrible things happen in the future, it didn't fit none of that. It, it just was some random superhero music that didn't fit the theme of the movie. That's one problem. Again, the actors, I think they did great in a lot of areas. But the writing, the writing is not top notch in this movie. Like, it's like Sony just like does things to, do, to just do it. That's the one problem I'm having in this film as I speak. Why is everything so off? The visuals look good in the movie, not gonna lie. Even though I found some of the weird camera angles and some of the zoom-ins to be kind of off-putting. Like it wasn't even, it wasn't sexy. It wasn't like cinematography, this is cinema. No, it was just like, oh, we got an amateur with a nice camera and he's gonna try to do what he thinks is cool shots. And somebody gonna, one of them gonna be offended that I'm saying is this was absolute terrible. I know people had this thing about was that woke and it was female. No, it was just, it wasn't a good movie. I don't believe in this concept of what this wokeism and that. It just, the movie felt like the problem I have with a lot of movies, which I will do later on today also. That will come out, no, it's coming out tomorrow. I'm, I haven't done it yet, but I will do from a writer's perspective and tell you why these movies feel soulless. Because this movie felt soulless. Not from the character, from the writing perspective, from the story. We gonna get into it later on. Again, I'm just I'm trying to get you to watch more videos, and so I can subscribe so you can get more of these videos, and I can keep pushing them out. But this movie, just like a lot of movies now, feels soulless. It felt like they were trying to push something and didn't write the story. It felt like they were they made a lot of mistakes in filming and try to overcorrect them till it sounded off. The audio in the movie was off-putting. The visuals, like I said, looked like it was a great camera with some amateur camera work. <laughs> like, like, hey, I got you that red camera that cost twenty thousand dollars. Here goes a person who never used the camera. Here you go. This is that's that movie. This is that this is that film. Sony does horrible at these films. And I just want to get this out of the way because this it's so much I want to say, but I can't. And I I know I keep shilling the watch later with me and Unico Williams to tell you about the whole recap and we can go point by point on all the disgustingness of this movie. But let me tell you something, I liked the beginning. I did, I liked the Easter egg, the Easter eggs were fun. Let's talk some good things. I think, like I said, I think the actors did good except for the voiceover voices that sounded way off and threw me off. Again, most of them was noticeable, but the villain had a horrible voiceover. It sounded like the man wasn't even talking half the time. He was like, they're trying to kill me. And then like the story doesn't make sense in a lot of ways. It's a lot of things that happened in, throughout the film that kind of like, how did that go to that? How was that faster than that? Now, if you already watched the movie, you know what I'm talking about. 
how did you go how was that quicker than the way you went about it and it's a lot of that movies it's a lot of like why he, that was that was right there and they could have handled it right there but they just decided not to handle that it's, it's a lot in this movie that kind of like my number the like blowing it and it's a lot of things in the movie they do what i do they skip over so much like little things that makes the movie come together for instance when a situation happened let's just forget the situation that happened let's just go into and just start doing our own thing like what with, with the situation we done put ourselves in don't matter in the story we created this situation and then we just forget it even happened now, every once in a while, you can get away with that to me. I, I'm perfectly fine with it. But when it's consistently throughout a whole two-hour film, and it happens like four or five times, and you're like, that's an issue. That's where I come with the problem with this movie. So let me know y'all thoughts. Do y'all Did y'all see Madam Webb like this? How do you feel about it? I don't want to completely judge you. Listen, my, I can already, I, let me just say this. I'm thinking I'm seeing beautiful women looking beautiful going to be in this film. And they decided to just suck her ass in with a trailer. It's just me complaining again. They suck us in with a trailer, man. They got, they, we got, got. <laughs> we got, got. We thought we were going to see spider women do cool things. And no, we didn't. It, it wasn't like that. <laughs> it wasn't. They did get in the suit. I'm not, no spoilers, though. I'm not spoiling what happened in the movie. But we didn't get what we was expecting. We didn't get a, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting a good story. Sony sucks at this. I'm thinking Craven is going to be absolutely horrible. They suck. So we wouldn't even, expectation was already low. But somehow, somehow you, Sony, you can break it down low. <laughs> like, subscribe. We got to I might do another movie. Mrs. and Mr. Smith coming soon. The Waller review so you can understand what I'm talking about. Go see the film. Maybe not. It didn't come back and watch the spoiler review and watch me just go off on pick after pick after pick. My caps was in the movie. Shocker! I spoiled something. We out! <laughs>